Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Kiwi and Chili Rubbed Grilled Short Ribs. That's right, this recipe is dedicated to the upcoming long Labor Day weekend, the holiday that signifies for many people the end of the summer cookout season. And after a long, hot summer of grilling, we're going to do something very simple, very easy, that quite fittingly needs only a minimum of organized labor. So anyway, let's get started, and for that we're going to need some Korean-style beef short ribs. Sometimes you'll also see these called flanken-style, and while this cut has an amazing, rich, and beefy flavor, it can be very tough and is usually braised for a long time. All right, but by cutting it very thin and using a tenderizing agent, we can actually prep these so they can be cooked for just a couple minutes on the grill. And by tenderizing agent, I mean this. Say hello to my little hairy friend. This is a kiwi. It used to be considered an exotic ingredient, but now you can literally find it in every grocery store in America. And believe it or not, all we're going to do is cut it in half and rub it on both sides of our beef short ribs. And using various fruits in marinades is an ancient tenderizing technique. There are actually enzymes in the fruit that break down the muscle fiber and make it much more easy to chew. So the thought process here is instead of using the kiwi as part of a marinade with a bunch of other ingredients... We would simply rub the kiwi directly on the meat, get the benefits of that tenderizing enzyme, along with a little touch of acidity and sweetness. All right, a kiwi has a similar flavor to like a lemony strawberry, I think is a fairly good description. But anyway, rub those cut halves of the kiwi on the meat, make sure every bit of that surface area has been coated, and then we're going to gather those up, pile those up, throw them in a resealable plastic bag, and we're going to toss that in the fridge and marinate those overnight. And by the way, there's lots of different fruits people use, papaya, pineapple, Asian pear. But I really do like kiwi because it doesn't make the meat mushy. And who wants mushy meat? So if you've used fruit-based marinades before and didn't like the texture, you're not going to have to worry about that here. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so like I said, we're going to leave that overnight. And then the only other thing we need to prep is a simple chili dry rub. And I decided to go with ancho chili, which is one of my faves, but any dry chili should work. To that, we're going to add some sugar some kosher salt, some freshly ground black pepper, some garlic powder, not to be confused with garlic salt, and then last but not least, and raise your hand if you saw this one coming, some cayenne pepper. Okay, so this is a fairly standard sort of barbecue style dry rub, and this along with that kiwi fruit rub is all we're gonna use to season these ribs. So give it a good stir with your freakishly small wooden spoon, and then I'm gonna foil line a pan or a tray, we're going to take our ribs out of the fridge, where again they've been marinating overnight, and we're going to sprinkle them generously on both sides with the dry rub, which actually, if you think about it, should be called a dry sprinkle, because generally you don't rub it on. But anyway, I'm not in charge of naming this stuff. All right, so we're generously going to sprinkle that on both sides, and once we've done that, we are ready for the grill. And not only is the prep on this rib recipe super easy, but the cooking time is literally only a couple minutes which again makes this a fantastic choice for any kind of cookout situation. We don't want to waste those last few precious hours of summer staying in front of a grill when we could be standing in front of other things like a pool filled with scantily clad people. Just to give one borderline creepy example. So we're going to go outside and toss those on the grill. Okay, so this is going to go really quick. We're talking like two minutes per side. And again, that usually wouldn't be enough time to break down the connective tissue in those ribs. But because we're using that Korean style cut on the rib and we're rubbing it with the kiwi that has those enzymes, this is not only going to taste incredible, it's going to be perfectly tender. And by the way, the people that say you should only turn meat once on the grill should probably stop saying that, because here I do like to flip it over a few times. All right, those juices accumulate on the top, and by flipping that over, they kind of re-caramelize onto the other side. So my theory is that provides extra flavor, but again, like most of my theories, I can't prove it. But luckily, don't need to. And at that point, mine looked beautifully caramelized, perfectly grilled, we're going to go ahead and pull those off. All right, we'll let them rest for a couple minutes just by habit. But they're so thin, that's really not that big of a deal. I decided to garnish with some green onions cut on the bias. Hey, any fool can cut green onions straight across. Turn the knife 45 degrees. I mean, that's just taking advantage of geometry. As you can see, I served mine with a little potato salad and some barbecue sauce on the side. Which, by the way, if you're doing this for a large crowd at a cookout, you should probably just go ahead and brush the barbecue sauce right on the ribs and save a step. And then, of course, the last and most important step... Open mouth, insert, kiwi chili rubbed short rib. And man, was that delicious. All right, lots of spice, lots of flavor. Like I said, it's going to be perfectly tender, but that gorgeous beefy flavor is still going to come through because we did not use a big heavy marinade. We just utilized that simple kiwi rub. So as you know, I'm always on the lookout for new delicious ribs for your cribs. And I really do think we have a winner here. 
And you know what? If you're thinking that's too simple, that's too basic, that's not going to impress my friends. You know what? You're missing the point to, well, basically life. It's the simplicity that makes it complex. So I really do hope you give these super easy ribs a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.